Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. This video is about code Java programming, especially uh, for CS 8383 syllabus from unit number 5. So in the previous video, uh, we have seen what is graphics programming and AWT hierarchy and its components. In this video, we'll talk about frames. So what is basically a frame? Uh, basically in unit number 5, we are going to deal with graphics. So to do some kind of graphic, uh, I mean, to display some kind of graphics, we need a window, right? A graphical window. So frame is a graphical window, and um, it can be displayed using a frame class. Yes. So we're gonna use a class name called frame. So using that, we are going to, uh, you know, create a frame. So basically, frame is a window in the sense a window will have a maximize, minimize, and close button, right? Okay. So the syntax to create a frame is that you can use either frame or frame with string and title. So these are all the methods that we will play with frames. One is void set resizable, that is a boolean value, uh, like one or zero, and true or false, and uh, you can resize. And uh, mostly we'll be using these things like void set title. I want a title, for example, you see this, um, uh, I'll be showing you a demo in that so we can set a title of that uh, like a program name or something then set size it is we are going to deal with um, width and height over here um, so we need to mention the size like 300 comma 300 and uh, if you want to get the title then you can use this get title method or if you want to hide uh, sometimes we you might be having different uh, windows uh, after logging in you need to hide a login page or something like that if you are designing uh, you know five six windows together i mean like forms so we need to uh, set visible or set visible false so we, we so in that case you can use set visible boolean value that is visible uh, like true or false fine so we are going to use these methods and um, so how to create frames there are two methods or two ways to create a frame one is you can extend frame class and then you can create a frame or you can create an instance of a frame class so I'm gonna show you both the things that is so this example is uh, for extending frame class so the difference is like first you need to import as uh, I said that we are going to deal with part one so in part one we are going to use AWT okay and applets so as of now I'm gonna use import java.awt.star and you see this the class name is frame demo which extends frame this is a class as I said and uh, so the, this is the main method public static void main and uh, you see this for this class you know I have created a reference and an object and this is a constructor fine so as we have seen these two methods like set size so you I'm using this fr as a reference so for this reference like set size 300 comma 300 uh, so that means the frame uh, width and height and fr dot set visible i have simply given true which means that the f the, f the frame is going to display right i mean i can view it fine so this is uh, extending frame class then the another uh, method is like you can use instance of frame class so the only difference is that you see this again i'm gonna use the same package name like awt dot star and uh, class name main method and i have not extended anything near in you know in this class right so directly i have used the instance of uh, the uh, frame class so so i have called the frame class and uh, i have created an object here and then uh, for this reference i'm just uh, you know setting the size and uh, visibility so that you will be getting something like this so this is a frame basically so uh, if you want to set a title, you just want to display a set title here, fr.set title, you can say uh, RK Keynote, so this will be displayed over here, right? So this is how uh, we are going to uh, demonstrate this. So I'm just taking you to the NetBeans. And so this looks like this. I have just copy pasted the program from the slide. Um, so the first uh, thing is about using extending frame class right so i'm just going to run this program so that you will get some idea so it is going to build and uh, you'll be getting the frame. yes so this is how the frame looks like and uh, these you know minimize maximize and close buttons 
so I'm gonna end this so if you want something like uh, you can say that uh, fr dot set title so I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say RT keynotes this should be in double quotes as well I'm gonna say right. so I'm gonna run this again let's see what happens it's going to build yeah you see this we have got the title simple all right so now I'm gonna show you a demo on the another program that is using the instance of frame class and uh, yeah I'll just and okay, over here. Okay, so I'm gonna run this program. See, there is uh, uh, there is no much difference here. Um, hope you understood this, and I'm gonna run this now. So here, that I'm, I have not extended anything. I have directly used a frame instance here, and I'm creating an object and setting size and visibility is true, and I'll be getting the same output, right? So this is how uh, frames. Uh, you know we can create frames in two ways so back to the slide and in the next video we're going to talk about awt components which we have seen in awt hierarchy and we're going to implement all the components like button label text box in a program and we're going to um, perform a demo using netbeans hope you like this video if you like the video hit the like button which uh, actually motivates me to do more videos like this and if you have not subscribed yet do subscribe my channel Thank you and thanks for watching the video.